Hi, everyone. I'm here to go through the steps required to join the TOPS on Bloor uh, Google Classroom in order to access the TOPS exam on December 2nd. So the first step is to open a web browser and type in the address classroom.google.com. Now, for most of you, you'll be taken to this page. Others will be taken to a page that asks directly for their email address, and I'll explain that shortly. So what you'll do is, uh, if you arrive at this page, go to the top right where it says sign in, hover over that button, don't click it, and click on Google Classroom. You'll be taken to a page that asks for your uh, Google account information, which is what, again, some of you may have been taken directly to. Here you'll enter your email address. Now, if you are a student of an independent private Catholic school, you're going to en uh, enter the Google account you created or already have uh, to access this Google Classroom. If you're a TDSB student, you're going to enter your TDSB uh, student email account, which is your first name dot last name at student.tdsb.on.ca. So I'll enter the email I have here. Click next. Password. Click next. And I'll be taken to a page that for most of you should look like this. Now, if you've been added to a Google Classroom as a TDSB student, uh, you may have a classroom here. Otherwise, it should be empty. And the same for any student accessing this through a uh, personal Gmail account. You should also see nothing here. Now, if you look over here on the top right, you'll notice a create or join class button. You can click on that, the little plus button, and select join class we will be prompted to enter the classroom code. Now, don't enter this code because this is a different classroom. Please enter the code that you have been sent by email. It's a unique code for the particular classroom you'll be asked to join. Enter that here and click on join. Once you're added, you should be taken to the uh, Top Sun Bluer exam landing page uh, where you'll see any updates or information that's posted here for you to access. But those are the steps involved in joining the classroom. So now I'm going to talk about joining the Google Meet that you'll be required to join in order to write the Tops on Bloor exam on December 2nd. Um, as for TDSB students, you'll have to go to meet.google.com. When you get there, it'll look a little different than mine because this is a teacher account where you'll be asked to enter or join a meeting. When you click on that, you're gonna type in the particular uh, unique meet code you've been given to access your meet. Now, don't type in this one because this is a uh, one I'm just using for the purpose of this video. Yours will be unique to your particular exam cohort. You'll click continue, at which point you'll enter this space where you'll be able to adjust your microphone and camera and join the meet. Now, for the purpose of the meeting itself, uh, you're going to have to keep your camera on as part of the invigilation of the exam so that the teacher uh, supervising will be able to keep track of everyone. If you are a non-TDSB student, so a private school, independent, or Catholic school student, you will be sent a direct link to your meet. So instead of a meeting code, you'll be sent a URL that looks like this, which you will use to access the Google Meet on the day of the exam. Now, it's really critical that as a independent private school or Catholic school student, you join this meet early um, because in order to uh, be entered into this meet, you're going to have to be given permission individually. So in order to allow the number of you that are joining to write that particular meet, it's really important that you join early enough so that enough time is given to allow each individual student to join that exam. So again, as a TDSB student, uh, you will access the meet by entering the unique meet code sent to you uh, and your exam cohort. As a independent, private, or Catholic school student, you'll access it using the URL that you'll be provided directly to join that meet. And make sure again that you join early enough in order to be allowed in. Now I'm gonna talk about how to access the exam on December 2nd. So once you've logged into your Google Classroom, 
and you've logged into your Google Meet, either using the unique Google Meet code you were given, or if you're a Catholic, private, or independent school student, using the direct URL you were given to your Google Meet. You wait for your teacher's instructions, and when they notify you, you'll go back to the classroom and under the classwork tab at the top of the page like this, click there, and you'll see the first part of the exam that's been released. By clicking on that, you'll open up the Google form, which will prompt you to answer some questions. At this point, you'll wait for instructions from your teacher on what your next steps are. But again, you'll log on to the Google Classroom, log on to your Google Meet, await the word from your supervising teacher to go back into the Google Classroom and access the first part of the exam through the Classwork tab. Once the exam is done, you'll hit Submit, which needs to be done in order for any answers to be recorded. If you hit Submit after the time has expired, your answers will not be recorded and that part of the exam will have no score. Once the next part of the exam is ready to be released, your teacher will notify you and you will access again through the Classwork tab and open it up the same way you would open up this one. 